law student at the University of Otago has found a major loophole in last year's cannabis referendum. A small section in the referendum indicates that it is actually a binding election along with the earlier general election. 48% of the voters voted for cannabis legalisation. Now because this is greater than the vote the National Party received for the general election, the main opposition in Parliament is no longer national, but a plant. Judith Collins has made the bold move to switch to the National Cannabis Plant Party and is now leading a caucus of plants. When questioned, she didn't really have much to say. I'm a plant. I don't really have much to say. Talo. That's all tonight. Now with Ben for the weather. Wit. Thanks, Ben.